Hello lovely humans, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, it is so nice to see you guys. Sending lots of love and light to you. I am really excited about this video because I am trying something new and different and I want to open the video by speaking honestly with you guys because a lot of you guys have been following me for a long time and you love to watch my reaction videos which makes me so so happy that I get to geek out over my favorite cartoons and you guys like watching me comment on them and feel all the feels when I watch them. Ever since I started this channel, I have wanted to simply just connect with you guys. I've simply wanted to talk on here and just be myself, do what makes me me, and just kind of hang out with you. I wanted to build that type of a community, that type of a family, and so many of you have gotten to know me through watching my videos, and I've noticed that my content where I'm watching cartoons always seems to be what you guys prefer. But sometimes you really need to listen to your heart and what makes you happy. So I'm going to be starting a segment on my channel where we are going to draw a little character together. I'm going to talk to you guys and I'm going to draw an original quick little sketch as we chat and I share some positivity and some things that I've learned recently and thought about just to kind of continue to give advice and spread positivity and happiness and also create something super cute. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this. I do a segment similar to it on my live stream on Instagram. If you guys ever want to join that, I would be over the moon if you guys came to hang out. Seriously. Um, I have people just come hang out with me and I just started doing, I think I've done two draw with me's on there so far. So I'm curious about bringing this to the YouTube format. I just feel that the insulin, uh, I can't talk. The Instagram live streaming format, I'm not sure how well it'll translate to my videos. So I'm trying something different here. So I have a little bit of a structure for this. And please give me feedback. I want feedback. So my idea for these videos is I'm going to start by showing you kawaii items of the day because I want these videos to be my chance to just hang out with you guys as your friend and geek out about cute things. I actually was very, very inspired by a YouTuber that I found recently. Um, her YouTube channel is a Rainbow Bright collection and fandom channel. It's called Rainbow Bright Net and she has so much Rainbow Bright stuff and she just geeks out about how much she loves this fandom, how much she loves these characters. She shows us all these awesome things that she has and she really inspired me and made me realize I've always wanted to do stuff like this. I've always just wanted to make videos geeking out about all the cute things I have and about cute things in general and just sharing that positivity and that happiness with my viewers. So I really hope that finally maybe I could start to do this on my channel and you guys would want to hang out with me and enjoy it too. So I'm always going to show you one cute beauty or accessory item and one cute little figure or plushie item before we get into the drawing. So for my cute kawaii plushie of the day, I have my Shiva unicorn. This little guy thinks he's a unicorn, but very clearly he is not. He's a Shiba Inu puppy, but he's wearing a unicorn hood. Um, this was actually, <laughs> this was a Christmas gift from my boyfriend, and I think he's really, really adorable. He kind of looks like a squirrel. Like, I feel like this doesn't look like a Shiba tail. It looks more like a squirrel tail, doesn't it? But Shibas do have slightly curly tails. So anyway, he has a matching unicorn fanny pack, which I love. Like, we did not need that little detail but I think it's perfect actually it might be a pony it doesn't really have a horn but either way it's still adorable I like that he's living his his best life and he's being whoever he wants to be so yeah he's such a cutie <laughs> They're gonna keep him here. For our beauty accessory item of the day, I wanna share with you guys one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. This was another gift, and I am obsessed with the Twin Stars from Sanrio. This is my Twin Star Sanrio palette. Look how beautiful it is! Now, one of the eyeshadow colors is missing. I will explain why. Um, it was a mishap, but basically, it just fell out. I don't know what happened. I dropped this one day and it fell out and I almost cried, but I salvaged it. I saved the eyeshadow and put it in a different container so I could still use it. But as you can see, we've got the little twin stars here. We've got Kiki and Lala. I think they're dressed as little angels here. If you can look really closely, they look so, so cute. Of course, they have their little cute bunny friend. I still need to learn her name. And they're up by the moon and the stars. And that's where they live. They live 
among the stars and the clouds. And look how beautiful this palette is, guys. Ugh, so much glitter, so much glitter. I try to be really careful with this palette and not wear it often, only for special occasions because I love it so much. But as you can see, these colors are absolutely beautiful. I would say my favorite is probably the pink at the top, which is called Sugar High. And I love the one right in the middle, the beautiful, um, sparkly iridescent white one and the one below the pastel blue so the sparkly white one is called moon dust the pastel blue is called star fishing and the rest of the colors are have really whimsical names we have twinning is the first one timid is the second sugar high is the third lala is the fourth oh lala's the one that spilled that's so sad i love lala i want to cry um, Double the Fun is the light purple. Sweet as Candy is this very light one here. December 24th is this one. I should have worn this on December 24th. Moon Dust is the one in the middle. Kiki is this deep, deep blue. And Curious is the purple. Under here we have Thinking Out Cloud, Moonbeam. We have star fishing in the middle, fluffy skies right next to it, and dream galaxy. So all these names are super, super awesome. I love these colors. I wear them a lot and they're a lot of fun. So lovely humans, how have you been feeling lately? I am deciding to draw a character that I'm gonna call Flower Power today. I was in the mood to draw a fun little flower. I don't know, I thought it would be a good time. So we're gonna draw sort of a daisy-esque flower. And I will show you guys along the way as I'm drawing my little flower character, maybe to get some pointers from you about what you think I should do. And if I make any choices that you guys disagree with, that's okay. You could tell me down in the comments. I want this to be a very cool sort of like chill kind of flower character. But you guys tell me, how is your life going? How have you been feeling? Are you happy, sad, stressed? Are you doing awesome? If you are, that makes me even happier because all I want is for you to be happy and feel like you're doing amazing. So I do wanna share a little bit of advice with you guys today though. And the advice is going to be that we sometimes need to not try to control every little thing in our lives. And we don't have to feel bad if sometimes things don't go our way. I'm actually about to talk in my live stream about this very topic when I'm done with this video. So I'm really, really excited because this is something that I've been thinking about a lot lately myself, where I feel that many times over the years, I've just felt like I've really needed to have some sort of answer to all of my questions, everything that I've been struggling with um, in terms of feeling like, where is my life going to go? When am I going to figure out exactly the perfect dream career for me? I mean, guys, if I could literally make all of my money off YouTube, I would. I would spend all day sitting here drawing cute pictures with you guys. Just gonna get some lip balm and a water break. I would, but life doesn't work that way, unfortunately. <laughs> um, it's tough. It's tough to find out who you want to be and what you want to do. We live in a world that makes it hard for us to just hang out and like do what we love every day. I wish we could live in some kind of peaceful utopian society where we could all be artistic hippies, spreading peace and love, doing whatever lights us up inside and like sharing that with the world. But unfortunately we can't, we have spent 90% of our lives working. But that aside is why we shouldn't fixate on what we can't control. Ah, that was so refreshing. I really, really needed a drink of water. Sorry guys. I feel, I feel like this whole winter, I've just been very dry. Like, I feel like I constantly need to drink water. Like my mouth is dry, my nose is dry. I can't breathe out of my nose. Like it's been a very stuffy, dry winter for me. So I'm sorry. Anyway, I will show you guys the beginning of my little Daisy girl once I get her petals finished. <laughs> I like her vibe so far. I'm actually really excited to keep drawing her. But anyway, since we live in a world that puts so much pressure on trying to figure out who we're supposed to be and you know, achieving our dreams and doing it by a certain age and a certain time, which first of all, guys, most of the time that doesn't happen and there's nothing wrong with that. Trust me on this, lovely humans. There is nothing wrong with that. 
but still not really understanding what you want to do, there is no time limit or age when you need to figure that out. Trust me, I spent all of my early 20s worrying about that and it gave me so much anxiety, I can't even begin to tell you and it was not fun. But that's why we have to focus on and put our heart and our soul and all of our love into the things that we can control. And those are our light energy heart activities. Now, what are light energy heart activities, you may ask? They are the activities that make us feel like our truest selves, make us feel centered, and make us just genuinely feel happy to be ourselves. Genuinely happy to just exist with our bodies and our souls and to show up every day and live each day as who we are. And that can become hard to do sometimes lovely humans when we're putting pressure on ourselves. I'm gonna give you guys my first look at my little daisy girl. So here she is, she's winking. I think I'm gonna have her just kind of like chilling. I see her like sitting in a field kind of like reading a book or chilling or like painting her daisy toes. Should she have daisy toes and should she be painting them with nail polish? Would that be cute or is that weird? Are daisy toes weird? What would daisy toes even look like? I don't know. Um, I don't know. She reminds me a little bit of this character from this old cartoon that I used to love as a kid called Oswald. I don't know if you guys know about that cartoon and that cartoon was very much like, um, when I was little, but it's about like this giant octopus who has a pet dog, like he's like a wiener dog as you would call him. Um, I think his name is even, I forget what his name is. I think his name is actually Weenie, but it's a show called Oswald and he just like lives in a city and all the characters in the city are like, they're like random, they're just random. Like there's a penguin guy, there's like a snowman that never melts. And his one friend is this Daisy named Daisy. So I think ironically this Daisy was inspired by Daisy and I didn't mean for her to be, but I wanted to draw a flower person. So Daisy it is. I think I'm actually gonna give her a cute dress. I'm feeling cute dress vibes for her. And again, like I said, it's gonna be a very quick sketches for this video. Um, I just am making this to see what you guys think, to see if you would wanna come hang out with me while I draw. And I would love to hear in the comments when I'm done with my drawing, what you think I should have done or what you think of the drawing itself. Um, I've decided that she's gonna be painting her daisy toes. <laughs> I think it'd be cute, I don't know. Should they have petals? Should her toes be petals themselves or would that be weird? That might be kind of weird, I don't know. But I am just like trying so much to make sense of the fact that we put so much pressure on trying to feel like we need to figure everything out right now. Like we really don't. And if you spend every day obsessing over things that are out of your control or thinking, why haven't I figured it out yet? Why haven't I figured it out yet? You're going to always feel like something's wrong with you. And we don't wanna feel that lovely humans. We don't wanna feel like we're telling ourselves that something's wrong with us. So I want you to remember your light activities and your heart activities as I call them, they are your biggest superpower because whenever you're feeling lost, you can tap into them and you can ask yourself, hey, you know what, are things really that bad? Am I really that lost? Am I really doing that badly, you know? Am I really, do, don't I have things that make me happy? Because life is about, of course, finding your calling, but at the end of the day, that comes with finding yourself. And you can't find yourself if you don't tap in to your hobbies and the things that naturally bring you joy and light you up. I'm doing a cool little design on her dress right now. But you guys let me know, have you ever felt that you put too much pressure on yourself or you felt like you needed to like figure everything out right now? Or you just kind of felt like directionless, you know? Like sometimes in life we just feel very unsure. We feel very like, okay, I really need some guidance here. I really need the universe to feed me sense of something, you know? And at the end of the day, lovely humans, unfortunately, when we ask for those things too often, instead of doing inner work and really being thankful for what we have, many times those things aren't gonna come to us because that's forceful work. That's trying to force, you know, things that maybe aren't lined up for you to happen. And that's when we feel disappointed and nothing feels worse than feeling disappointed. At least I think so. I mean, I've had so many moments in my life where I've just felt really, really sad and disappointed about something and it's just made me feel a million times worse about anything that I've been going through. 
instead of simply being grateful for everything that I do have, for everything that I'm lucky enough to have. I'm lucky enough to have this drawing pad right now so I could draw this cute character for you guys. I'm lucky enough to have you guys watching my content and giving me some love. All right, what do you think about her dress? I think it's cute. I did sort of a little like retro pattern. I like that she's chilling and hanging out. Again, this is gonna be a quick sketch. I definitely, I don't know, I think I might do her, pe her petals just yellow, but do you guys think I should do each petal a different color? Cause I'm kind of feeling, I'm feeling a little tempted. Feeling like maybe I should give her multicolored petals. I don't know, like I saw her originally with just yellow, but maybe multicolor would be better. I'm not really sure. Um, hmm. You guys let me know what you think. Feel free to comment below and let me know what you think. But we're gonna give her her little nail polish jar here. She has it right here with her. And she's gonna be painting her flower toes. <laughs> I love this idea, guys. I don't know why, I think it's funny. I mean, why can't flowers have pedicures too? Come on. They probably love color. They are flowers. Got it. there's nothing better than a good pedicure sometimes, you know? What color should she paint her flower toes? Should we do, should we do like a hot pink? I think maybe like a hot pink would be nice. I'll try a hot pink. <laughs> so cute. I really like it. We're gonna put some light pink in here. Boop. And I'm gonna. I just had the idea of a flower person today and I felt very, very drawn to the idea. But probably in the future, I might do characters that are a little bit more whimsical to share with you guys. Although she is pretty whimsical. Um, if you haven't heard of Oswald though, check it out. It's really, really adorable. I'm gonna change my brush to more of an airbrushing texture to give her a little bit of blush on her cheeks. I love doing that with my characters. It makes me feel really happy. It makes them feel really complete to me. But anyway, that's kind of the life advice that I've realized lately that sometimes we put way too much pressure on ourselves and we forget to check in with all of the things that make our lives so, so beautiful and make us so, so lucky. And I really think that once we really tap into those things and we utilize them and we focus on them and we take the time to really kind of think about what we have to offer the world each day that we do have control over. And what I mean by that is like, what do you, what can you do each day to make somebody smile or make yourself smile? For me, I love to sketch and draw these characters. This alone brings me joy and happiness. For other people, I could try to spread positivity. I could try to, you know, be positive at work. I could pay someone a compliment. I mean, have you guys ever just like given someone a compliment at random and they looked at you like so shocked? Like, oh my God, that's so nice. I have even felt that way when people have given me compliments before. I've been like, why are you complimenting me? Like, I didn't even, what did I do to deserve this compliment? And that's the thing, we don't have to feel like we deserve it. Sometimes we could just be nice for the sake of being nice. And it really makes so many people feel so happy because it's spreading happiness for the sake of spreading happiness. You know, lovely humans, there is nothing more beautiful than that. So I'm kind of hoping that these little segments, by the way, I decided to go multicolored with the petals. I did it, I decided to go multicolored. It felt right, it felt right guys. It just felt right. All right, she's kind of a diva, but I love her a lot. I don't know what color to make the background. Should it be? Should it be light pink or light blue or the color of the sky? I don't really know what color to make it. I'm gonna go with sky color, sky color. That's the color I'm going with. Oh, in every video I'm gonna sing you guys an original song created on the spot by me. Aren't you so excited? I know, me too. Like, you guys should feel so honored. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that like wasn't even a good song at all. Um, okay guys, all right lovely humans, here she is. I think she's precious. She's just hanging out painting her nails. She's very content with life. She's saying, hey, I'm gonna paint my flower petal toes hot pink today because I deserve it. 
and I like her. I like her vibe. She's super cute. I don't know what to name her. I think hmm, Penny Petunia. She doesn't look like a Petunia though. She looks like a Daisy. Oh, Gabby Gerber. She looks like a Gerber Daisy, so maybe her name should be Gabby Gerber. I also really like naming my characters when I'm done, so I actually think that name is kind of perfect for her. So we're going to say... Mm -mm 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 -mm. Now I'm about to go on my live stream on my Instagram and do this again. Uh, but if you guys are interested in joining me there, please come and join. Um, I do them usually on Tuesday nights. So I would love, love, love to see you there. And here she is, Gabby Gerber. You saw her get created right away. You were the first to see her lovely humans. And she's super cute. I love her. And I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope that you will come and have fun with me during these videos. I'm going to call them Relax and Draw with Kelly. And I'll always have some cute things to geek out with you guys about and a cute character to make with you. So I'll see you guys next time and have a lovely, lovely day. Bye.